Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the MCAT Club. This is our weekly call for Monday, February the 3rd, 2014. My name is Don Osborne, and I am your host of the MCAT Club. And in case you haven't heard before, MCAT Club is the place to go for up-to-date information about studying for the MCAT, as well as MCAT prep, and I even answer your MCAT-related questions live here on the call. You can find the MCAT Club at Inquarter.com, as well as on Facebook and here on YouTube, as well as Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, and you might even find me once in a while on Reddit. As a medical school admissions expert, consultant, and coach, I work with amazing students who really, really, really want to get into medical school, but you might be stuck or you feel uncertain about parts of your application process or how the application process works, and you really want to understand how to market yourself to med schools. I promise I'm the most uplifting, hopeful, and encouraging advisor you'll ever meet, and I am that because I work with you right where you are in order to improve you as a candidate, help you build yourself into a qualified candidate and a more attractive candidate, and that's what I've been doing since 1994. Today, I would like to talk with you about a phone call I received earlier this afternoon from someone I think his name is Luke, and here's the question that he asked me. He said, Don, I am an English as a second language student, an ESL student, and the MCAT verbal is kicking my butt. What can I do to improve my MCAT verbal? Can you help me? I answered, yes, absolutely. There are three things that you can do to make a big difference in your MCAT score. And uh, I went on to explain two of them, which uh, I'll talk about in a minute. And what I didn't talk about was the third because, well, you know, I thought maybe he wasn't really um, expecting or uh, that the answer that I wanted to give him is not necessarily the answer to the question that he's asking. Okay, so let's get into this. Number one thing you can do to improve your MCAT verbal if you are ESL is to practice working on your context cues. Context cues is a very well-known tip and technique. I'm sure you've heard of it before. There are plenty of other YouTube videos about using context cues in order to understand and interpret language. The bottom line of a context cue is if there's a word that you don't understand in a sentence, you read around the word, read the rest of the sentence, read the other sentences in the paragraph in order to get some kind of a holistic understanding. And then from that, interpret what the particular word that you don't understand, that piece of vocabulary that you're missing, what that really is all about. That works great. It's a context uh, cue technique. It's a little bit of a detective work. It works just fine, especially for most uh, uh, reading that you're doing, whether it's um, newspaper, magazine, or uh, informal reading. However, as you might suspect, when it comes to the MCAT, especially uh, context cues don't always work very well because the MCAT is expecting you to use your context cues and will literally try to trick you by giving you words that have more than one meaning and then the author is using a slightly different interpretation of the meaning of the scent of the word and now all of a sudden you're interpreting the wrong uh, meaning of the word so context use can sometimes be traps number two if uh, you are esl and english is not your first language and you bump into vocabulary challenges from time to time here's what you need to do you have to become very strict and very disciplined with yourself. And every time that you bump into a word uh, that you haven't seen before or that you're not absolutely certain of the meaning of it, you've got to stop, you've got to look it up, you've got to Google it, uh, and you've got to spend a couple of minutes understanding the meaning of the word and then using the meaning of the word, use that word in a sentence yourself before you go back to the passage. Okay, now this is a great suggestion, great recommendation, but especially early on, it can take a lot of your time. And so a lot of students get discouraged because they bump into so many words that they're unfamiliar with, especially in esoteric passages on the MCAT. So what do you do? Well, the second piece of this that can be a shortcut is to study your Latin roots. Study your Latin roots. Study your Latin roots can help you understand the meaning of many, many words very quickly. The problem with studying Latin roots is it's one level removed from the actual word. And so a lot of times you're wondering, gosh, you know, what am I doing and why am I even doing it? You got to overcome that. You got to say to yourself, you know what? Latin roots are a good thing. This is a reasonable thing for me to be doing. Uh, and uh, just allow yourself the time uh, you need in order to get not only the 
Latin roots, lock down and understand them, but also begin to learn to apply them into uh, vocabulary that you're familiar with so that you can put together the meaning of words and become more comfortable interpreting the meaning of words based upon your Latin root study. Okay, so number one, uh, look up the words that you don't know. Number two, try to understand the roots of those, uh, meaning of those words so that you can apply that meaning more broadly across other words. That's great. Those are two techniques. Uh, you probably have heard something similar. Um, and a lot of this is uh, what I would call a brute forced approach to uh, vocabulary. Not necessarily a great shortcut that's going to solve uh, your problem. So Luke, if you're watching this or listening to this, uh, sorry, I wish there was something um, better that I could say to really help you give you a strong feeling of comfort and confidence around your vocabulary, you know, and, and I can do that for you in only a few minutes. Okay, so there's a third thing I wanted to say to him, which I didn't say to him uh, when we talked, uh, but I will say to all of you now, and that is this. Thank you.